Lawson at Sam's Equipment, and it's a beautiful fall day. It's gorgeous out, and we're talking to Sam and his son, Seth. Seth. And we want to learn about your business so that we can tell others about what you do. You are in a equi used equipment and yes. salvage business. Tell correct. us correct. a little bit about that, Sam. Okay. Um, well, the nature of our business is uh, used parts, and uh, what we do is we buy machinery, um, dismantle it, uh, sort out that which is unusable to that which is usable, um, sort it, um, put, put it away like little pallets and, and things like that so when there is a call for it, uh, we can find it. Um, we have uh, parts books and stuff like this to identify parts uh, that will tell us what it is and then we go pull it out, we look up what a current price is and um, depending on on a demand, depending how much uh, run there is on it, it can, uh, the price can vary from oh half price to maybe less than half price, mm -hmm. depending how many you have, uh, how much demand there is uh, for the particular piece they're looking. So then, do you also do some repurposing as uh, well here? Very, uh, very little. We don't do any uh, remanufacturing. Um, there are enough other people that do that. Right. Now we will, we will organize some things, uh, uh, some smaller things like uh, some planter parts. We may put together some small assemblies, but nothing like transmissions right. or rebuilding engines and that kind of stuff. What we have found in the past, what seems the best success is when we buy a particular machine, like I've got a, uh, a combine that the uh, engine has just been replaced oh, maybe a couple hundred hours ago. Um, that is our rebuilding. Someone else has done it. Okay. Um, you have We have good success if we're selling, oh, say a brand name uh, after aftermarket uh, uh, overhaul company. Right. Um, that seems to be our best success okay. uh, than trying to find somebody here local, uh, taking something that's all wore out and rebuilding it. We it's that's just worked out for us the best. So no, we don't rebuild um, transmissions or hydros or uh, uh, combine engines or tractor engines. Okay, so Seth, yes, talk to me about how you feel about being part of the business and how long have you been like? Have you shown up here as a kid and hung around as a kid? <laughs> uh, did you grow up with it? I did actually. Ever since, um, ever since my dad has been here, uh, back even when he was part of the Consolidated Egg Service uh, Company, uh, I was in early high school. Okay. I would spend my summers here, um, and summers in college. Okay. Uh, the same thing, and then um, I have been here uh, steadily ever since um, 2009. Uh huh. And. Um, you know, my role has transitioned definitely from when I was when I was in high school. I was here to grab a couple tools. A golfer? Yes, grab a couple <laughs> tools, tear these things down, and it was uh, probably more of a challenge on his end to find things to do to keep me busy. Right. Um, and as as time has gone on, um, I've kind of overtaken the uh, the technological side of things, um, making sure that um, you know it was some bit of paperwork, but more. Um, or just making sure on the computer side of things, we got that up and running. Um, right. Um, accessing information, which valuable, very valuable. Yeah, which I mean, the the parts books and the the, the technology of the past has become obsolete, mm -hmm. and um, so it's it's a necessary evil, I guess. Right. Um, but tying the old with the new. Yeah. Very yeah, very. Yep. Important. Absolutely. And even though the the age of the machinery here gets older and older, we have to adapt by. Uh, by using the computer more often and uh, getting in touch with customers that way as well. Well, and, and when we're in an age of like kind of an economic downturn, people are trying to find new ways to be able to fix their stuff or hang on to their stuff or rebuild something they can make themselves if they've got the ingenuity. So I think it's a great business and it's your guys are really in vogue. You know, repurposing is the big deal now and, and letting people, helping people repurpose is a big green technology, if you will. So that's really great. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. We invite everybody to come down to Sam's Equipment if you need some parts. Yes. Maybe you need a neat looking gear for your front yard for an ornamentation or something. There's a lot of displays that go into Bulldogs. These guys will help you with your lawn displays. <laughs> Thank you guys, we Thank appreciate you. your time. Thank you.